Hey all you art junkies out there, welcome to Illustration Overdose. My name is Donnie Ray Crisp and I often get asked, how do my lines look so smooth when I do line art or inking? And people wanted to know what my brush settings are, so I'm going to tell you today what kind of brushes I use and how you can create your own brushes. So for sketching it really doesn't matter what kind of brush you use because after all it's just a sketch and um, when you're finished with the sketch you're going to draw clean lines over it anyway so it really doesn't matter. But I understand that people want to keep things separated and so do I so I also have a separate sketch brush. So this is what my sketch brush looks like. Um, it's pressure sensitive and it has fringy edges and um, the more pressure um, I take away, the, the more opacity it takes away and the lines get thinner. Um, and it kind of reminds me a bit of a, a graphite or charcoal and um, I like this for sketching a lot because it's a, it's a bit rougher and um, yeah. Okay, so let's get to the main star of this video, the line art brush, and this is actually the reason why I did this video. And um, the brush that I use is nothing too fancy. It's a default Photoshop brush. It is pressure sensitive, and um, what makes this brush extra smooth is just a little tweak in the brush settings. Um, if you go to brush tip shape, and down here you see spacing, um, the default Photoshop brush is, I believe, around 8 or 10 percent. And I just drag this slider down to 1 percent. That makes it extra smooth. And I'll explain to you what the spacing does. So if I hold down the pen on my tablet, it creates a dot. And if I drag my pen, it creates a line. And this line is made of many dots. So for example, if I drag the spacing up, you can see all the dots and the higher the percentage of the spacing is the further the dots are apart and now for example if I draw a line this line is made of many dots and it's only logical that the less spacing that is between the dots the smoother the lines get and that is all the magic behind my smooth lines and last but not least is the brush that I use for shading it is an extra smooth brush and it creates very nice gradients. So yeah, that's the brush I use for shading. So you see, it's nothing too fancy, nothing too special. And now you might think, well, you didn't show us every setting in detail from every brush. And you know what? I don't have to do that because you can download all these brushes for free. And the link is in the description below. And then you just load these brushes into your Photoshop and then um, you choose your brush, go up here to the brush settings, and then you can check out the settings for yourself or tweak them to your likings. So feel free to download it and tell me how you like them. And as promised, I'll show you how you can create your very own Photoshop brushes. And it's very easy to do. And for this, I have an example of a leg wearing leather pants. And you see this line right here, and you might want to add some sort of stitching to it. And one way to do it is to, you know, actually draw the stitching above the line. And depending on the length of the leg or the spacing between the stitches, this might take forever. And I'll show you how you can speed this up and make this a whole lot easier. So what we'll do, we'll erase these stitches and draw a new X and about the size we want the stitches to be. Okay, and this X has to be on its own layer. And then you go over to your layer manager and you hold down the Alt key or Command key on your keyboard and hover above this little window. And if you do so, you see then a little hand appears with a dotted rectangle and then you click inside this window and now your, um, your stitch uh, or the thing you have drawn is selected. And after that, you go up here to edit Define brush preset and this will be the shape of your new brush and now we're going to call it stitch and hit OK and now we have a new brush that is shaped like the X we just drew. And now if you open up your little brush manager you can see your new brush that was that we created 
and we need to, to add some to do some settings first before we can draw the stitches on here so go over here to your brush settings and um, drag the spacing up till you like the the spacing between the stitches okay and then go to um, shape dynamics and I guess it is is it here nope here direction and now the um, the stitches are rotated in the direction you're drawing and now we can draw over the line and you get this nice stitch line but over here it's it's it doesn't it didn't work that good so we'll go back to the settings and um, Take away the pen pressure, delete this, and draw a new line. Perfect. And for the final touch, we'll go to blending options, give this a nice color, some bevel. done so that's it I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you like this video give me a thumbs up and please subscribe see you guys next time hey if you like the video please subscribe or write a comment or share the video with your friends until next time see ya